back to my channel. I hope you all are having a good day today. Good evening, good night, whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe and share. Okay, that helps me out a lot. And don't forget that you can message me on all social media sites and DM me content suggestions, ask me for advice. Let me know what you want to see, anything, feedback, whatever the case is. Let a nigga know, period. Judging by the looks of this title, you see that we are definitely talking about this new growth, okay? And my hair growth journey and whatever else that I feel is necessary to share about my hair and this process that I've been going through for about a year, year and a half now, two years. And, um... I hope you enjoy. I don't want to talk too long, uh, just babbling. I want to get straight into this video. And don't forget that these products that I talk about or anything, anything product-wise that I talk about will be listed below. So, um, I actually started my natural hair journey maybe about two years ago or so. It's probably been about two years ago now. Um, when... It was just a spur of the moment thing. I chopped it all off. I was literally actually in a, a mental breakdown. And, um, like, I was in a relationship where I, I got cheated on, like, four times. And I just was like, you keep cheating on me with these bald-headed bitties. Like, I just was like, or these people who are natural or they're, I don't know, like everything about them is natural. Is there something you don't like about me? But then again, why did you choose me? Like, I don't know. And so I just had a mental breakdown one day. And once I took a, I think I had a sewing in or some braids. So my friend was over and I just was like, you know what? I'm chopping this off. I just was like, I'm grown. I don't have to wait for my mom to say no. I'ma just chop this mess off. So then I just went to snip snipping. And before I knew it, I looked like this. And then I, uh, you know, wet it, put some little curl patterns in it for a little bit. Not really because it was trans. It was permed, relaxed hair still. It was like, I had been getting relaxer since I was like in kindergarten probably. Kind of kindergarten or first grade because I was so tender headed. My mama was just like, I can't deal with this. Okay, so when that happened, I I think I grew up always, and my hair would stay like right here. I feel like it never grew. It would just stay right here. And I used to tell my mom all the time, like, Ma, my hair is not growing. Regardless of what you say, my hair ain't growing. I used to wear micro braids, which, let me just say now, micro braids is cute, but they take too damn long to get out your head. And my shit would, like, either, I feel like they so small, they be ripping hair out. I just can't, so... Them, them shits was for the birds once I got older, too, because I said, nah, I ain't got time. When, it, when I was able to make my own decisions, like, you couldn't tell me nothing about my head. I said, nah, leave my head alone, because I got this, okay? So, I kept permanent, though, because I don't think I really got out of my tender head stage until that mental breakdown. Like, I just was like, girl. You've watched all these natural YouTube videos. You've looked at books. You have uh, been cheated on with people who are natural, natural face, no makeup, no, no, no hair at all. They done got the boosy fade going on. They doing what they doing. They do. They doing them. They doing them. And so you're like, you want to try the natural look. You love the big froze. You love that. You don't really like the short big chop haircut though because you feel like your head's too big but who cares because you got to start somewhere like you know and so when I had that mental breakdown I told myself in the mirror that day I said you know what you gonna have to learn how to just comb through your damn head because if you gonna do this you gonna have to realize you are going to have moments where your hair is tangled and nappy and you just got to get it together. But at least you're starting off when it's short, so it's barely much to come through. So it'll be a breeze, trust me, trust me. And so I cut it off. And I kid you not, 30 minutes into cutting it off, I freaked out 
and I was just like, oh my God, like, I just was like, what have I done? What have I done? I said, no, no, no. Now he's really going to be like, you, what, what the fuck are you doing? Now you just even more unattractive to me. And I just don't want to talk to you no more, period. Like, I just was panicking, literally panicked so hard that I was just like, I think it was a day later, I went and made an appointment to get braids put in my head. So he only saw one Instagram picture, the picture I keep posting. Um, he only saw that one picture. And then after that, it was a wrap. I said, nah. I said, I'm not posting no more pictures with my head looking like that. That shit just ain't going. Like, I'm not doing it. And I was wearing head wraps and stuff because my head looked crazy. Like, it was uneven. I just started chopping. So, it was uneven. It was like, it was just doing too much. And so, it was like a day or two later, I said, Mom, I got to go put some braids in my head. So, I got crochets put in. Um, and my mom had like blow dried out my little fro completely straight and then trimmed it evenly all over as well as the girl trimmed it a little bit more even. And then she braided me up, put them braids in and I was like, oh, I'm at ease. Like I'm good. I, I got some weave in right now, some braids. I'm feeling myself. This is me. Like I can't do nothing about the fact that he don't like the way my style is and how I like myself. And so I just remember like constantly with my hair wearing protective styles like crazy uh, from braids to sew-ins to um, if I wore the fro, the fro had to be blow dried out like it is now. It had to be blow dried out some because I was not going to wear it in its natural, natural state because it was too small, too uneven looking, too... Um, too nappy looking, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'll post pictures of that too. I'll actually post pictures of what it looks like right when I get out the shower and it has no product in it. And then what it looks like if I am to blow dry out some and then wear it like that, which is how this is now. It was actually bigger than this, but it shrinks. I have 4C hair, um, if you cannot tell. My hair is 4C. It's probably like 4B at the back. It probably is. And because uh, the back part is kind of like looser. The curl pattern is looser when it's wet back here. And actually, the way my, my fro ended up growing was uh, the back is like long. And then this part is like shorter a little bit and it kind of looked like a mullet but you know that's besides the point and so i that's why another reason why i don't wear it with it just looking crazy unless i'm going to do a twist out or something but besides that like it just be looking too crazy and i can't with that so I, instead i just be like you know what i'ma just uh blow dry it out pick it out and then put a band on my head and wear the fro so that's what i do um some things about how long i've been growing it out and it's been cut off is about yeah two years now and it it's growing you know it's it's growing how it wants to um uh, i'm one of those na lazy nazy i'm a lazy natural like you're even though i watch all these videos and i'd be like oh that's cute like I see what she did there with her hair, all those products, and you wash your wash routine and these twist outs, and I'm like, that's just too much work. I don't have time for that, <laughs> okay? Like, no. I barely like putting makeup on anymore, so, you know, it is what it is. So, I definitely a, na a lazy uh, natural. I literally do... I'm not saying the bare minimum, but it's not as much as you would see on somebody who is real, like, into doing their hair on a constant basis. Uh, one, I don't wear my hair out that much. So when I do wear it out, it's literally for probably like a week, and then it go up into some type of protective style. Um, it's gotten longer since, like, the picture when I first cut it off. 
I don't really think I've tracked progress. Like, I just literally just been letting it do its thing. I have gotten a trim once, and that was last year. It's actually time for another one, I believe. And we could do a link check, I think, if you want to do that. So it's like right here. Yeah, it's like right here. Should I? Right there. So that's how long it is like I told you like the back part is really and then really it ain't even is it really that long because when I do get a trim if I was because I have not got a silk press yet I have not got a silk press or it, it has not been straight since the day I cut it two years ago like it's just never been bone straight again but like I'm pretty sure all of that's gonna have to get cut off this all of this is like probably dead and it needs to get cut off but um there's the lint check it's pretty long it's actually longer than what it was when i would have a perm in my hair which i'll post a picture of what i looked like when i had a perm in my hair now i can't remember if i have a picture without my ex in it or not if i do that's the one i'll post but if not his face will be marked out of it because that's all i have <laughs> So I'm just letting y'all know that now. Okay, uh, it ain't nothing about, oh, she really just trying to see Bay. Nah, fuck that nigga. Nah, I'm just playing. He cool, I guess. I don't know. I ain't really talked to him in a while. <laughs> but, um, so there's the link check. It's pretty long. I have not got no silk press. I haven't did a trim in a year. I have not... What else have I not done to it that people usually do to check stuff? I think that's it, trimming in like uh, length check wise. Now, as far as products and stuff that I put in my hair, somebody did, I guess that was a little piece of hair. Somebody did request my wash routine when I do like take out, um, my braids or whatever protective style I'm wearing what do I do to my hair so I will make a video of what my wash routine is and you know what I do to my hair when I take it out and I'm just wearing it like this and stuff so I'll do that in a whole separate video this is just you know me talking about my natural hair and stuff and it's really moisturized and soft um, the oils I use could range from coconut oil olive oil peppermint oil uh, argan oil just to give it a little shine. I don't really put that in my scalp. I just like, that's just like a little bit. It's probably like a little drop of that because somebody said it dries your hair out. That's another thing. I don't pay attention to what somebody else might say dries your hair and what the other person might say is really good because that thing about everybody's hair is different and everybody's hair likes different products is so true. Like, I feel like my hair soaks up almost every oil and stuff. Like Now, sometimes I will feel my hair and be like, my hair kind of feel a little rough. But then when I like really just dig my scalp in it, it's really soft and stuff. And sometimes my hair might not look moisturized. I don't know if you could tell if it's got oil in it, but it does have oils in it right now. Um, I use the Argon Oil Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. I use the Black Castor Oil um, Leave-In Conditioner. Um, like I said, coconut oil is, I use that a lot. Actually, I pre-poo in that. If I like just took my, um, if I just took a protective style down, I pre-poo in either some oils, a whole bunch of hot oil treatments and stuff overnight or I pre-poo with the actual co-wash uh, product and I can't remember the name of it but I'll talk about that in my uh, wash routine video and um what oils do I use other than the coconut olive oil black cast oil I use that a lot I all up in my scalp on my strands I put that all over and I also use wild growth oil or i use a, some type of growth oil whichever one it is mega thick um right now i'm actually using a 
um, a growth oil and a grease in my scalp by the name by somebody of the name of Jazz Hair Creations, and it's been doing good. I do see the growth in my fro. Um, what's it called? I, I see the growth in my fro from when I blow dry it out completely than what it was before I started using their product. I don't remember if I have like two before and after pictures. Like the before would be, I mean the after would be now and I have to show you a video. But the before, I think I have a before picture before I started using it. But I do see a growth. Now I don't use the products often because literally I only wear my hair for a week and then I I get it braided, a sew in, I twist it out and put it in a wig or uh, anything like that. So, uh, but when I do have my weird hair out for a week, I use the grease and massage it into my scalp almost every day before I go to bed. And I use the growth oil almost every day on like my edges because they be a little light. I ain't gonna lie, they, they a little light. And uh, <laughs> I use um, the oil just to rub it in and put it on my actual strands and make it a little shiny and stuff. And they actually have a shampoo and a deep conditioner that's really good. So I like that as well. I'll put their information in the description box below um, if you guys want to check them out as well as the other products that I talked about in this video. But that's really all I do to my hair. Like it's usually just a take it out of protective styling wash, blow dry out, wear it in a fro, or I put it in a sleek bag bun with a baseball cap on my hat uh, or head or something. Or I do like um, the, ex the extension clips and I do a little style in the front or something like that. And then I um, wear it like that for a week, wash it again, and then I put it in a style. Washing, I usually wash like, uh, usually I would wash every Sunday if I did. I think I only left my hair out like for a long time, one time. That was over Christmas break and Christmas break is a month. And I wash my hair every Sunday, which is good because I'm OCD. So I be feeling like my scalp ain't clean. Oh, another grease I use is uh, Sulfa Aid because my scalp be itching and that seems to be the only thing that keeps me from digging in my scalp bad so that makes it where i be comfortable um but with the washing uh i've been trying to ease up on the washing and now i just wash every two weeks like i just took this uh took my sewing out monday but when I film this video, it's Wednesday. I took it out Monday, and I'm not going to wash my hair until next Friday. I'm not going to wash my hair until next Friday because I get my hair braided up and put back in another sew-in that Saturday. So I'm going to leave it like it is until then and then wash it so it's a clean scalp fresh uh freshly oiled because you know a lot of hairstylists tell you to come with your hair oil free yeah nah because otherwise my my damn scalp be on 10 under that sewing i have to oil my scalp because sometimes they forget and don't oil your scalp so i'd be like i ain't got time for that let me go on and oil it some because you're not gonna yeah and so um that's pretty much it for my wash routine. I just do that. I don't really finger detangle. Like I said, I'm still kind of tender headed. So water is my best friend. Okay. I got, I get my spray bottle. I spray it all over my strands and stuff. And then I take the comb. I take a big wide tube comb and I detangle. I don't use this. I don't use the Denman brush unless it's to do my buns and stuff because I'm just like that shit kind of hurt. But the comb is, I can bear that. So, I just use the comb. Um, I guess we'll do another update on my hair when I take the neck sewing out. Like I said, I love, like, seeing how long it is right now. Because I'm like, but I'm too afraid to get, like, a silk press done. So, I don't know when I'm going to do that and stuff. Do I want somebody to do it? 
or what I'm going to do to it. But if I'm going to do it, if so, whichever way, I'll probably record it, let y'all see what's going on and all that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. You got some insight on what I do in my hair. And um, I cannot wait for you to see the rest of my hair care journey. And maybe you get some good tips out of it. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. Don't forget as well to like, comment, subscribe again. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.